What's up, friends? Today, I want to take you back to school. I want to teach you a new word. Listen, I'm 100% Greek, right? There was a word my mom used to say. It's a powerful word. Kalanthinos. It's where the word calisthenics comes from. You know what it means? It means beautiful strength. And I want to segue that into a really dark time that I went through and maybe some of you have gone through and how it helped. You know, back in the day when I was in Vegas, I was a nightclub bartender. I was making a shitload of money. And everybody knew it. So guess what happens when you make a lot of money? People ask for it, right? I can't tell you how many times I had people come up to me, grown men and women, coming up to me, crying. They're at their wit's end. They don't know what to do. I'm their last resort. They need help with their cell bill, with their mortgage. They need to put food in the fridge for their kids. They need a house to live in. I gave a guy a house to live in for free. Didn't have to pay rent or anything. Over the course of the 10 years, I think all the money that I lent out to everybody is probably around 80, 90,000. How much of that money have I gotten back? Zero. How many of those people have reached out to me since then and said, hey, Tino, listen, I, I, I'm still thinking about you. I, I know I owe you that money. I'll get it to you. I haven't forgotten about you. How many of them did that? Zero. You know, I can't tell you how good I felt at their darkest hour, I was the guy that they came to and they trusted that, that, that I could help them. That made me feel so good inside and I lent them that money without even thinking about it. They needed it. They needed help. And after, over the years when I never heard from them and I never got any money back, I, I got so mad and I was like, how can somebody do that? How can they not pay back a debt like that? But you know what? It got to a point where I didn't want to get mad anymore. And I remember what my mom said, Calanthinos, beautiful strength. These people came to me in their darkest hour and I was able to help them. And you know what? Those people are still out there. They're still out there doing whatever they're doing. But you know what? When, they're, when they go to bed at night and lay, they, they lay their head down, they know exactly what they did. They didn't forget, trust me. And I didn't forget either. I didn't forget how good it felt to help them in a really bad place that they were in. So, when people ask you for money, which they probably will, number one, don't plan on ever getting it back. Number two, practice Calanthinos. Have that beautiful strength. Know that you're helping your fellow man. It doesn't matter if you're not gonna get that money back. You did a good thing when most people couldn't. You were there when nobody else was. That's why they came to you. They knew they could count on you. And you did a great thing. Don't ever forget that. Does it suck? Does it suck you're not gonna get that money? Yeah, would I love to have that 80, 90 grand back? <laughs> Hell yeah. Not gonna happen. It's okay, we can all make more money, guys. But how many times can we pull people out of their darkest spot they've ever been in? their darkest place, not many. How many of us can practice Calanthinos like that? It's pretty amazing. So here's my advice. If anybody ever comes up to you and asks you for money, and they're desperate, do it. It'll be the best feeling you've ever had, because you know you can go to bed at night. Those people out there that did that to me, and they're, maybe they've done it to you, they know what they did, and then one day they're gonna be judged. Okay? So feel good that you were able to have Calanthinos and you were able to help them in their darkest hour. Always practice Calanthinos and you're going to be heading in the right place. <laughs>